afternoon. I don't know what time it's uh, 11, so probably good afternoon. My name is Jacek Trubuchowski. I, uh, for 25 years, I've been working with people, developing people. And uh, my journey starts uh, with tolerance, starts uh, when I was a small, small child. I was uh, born and raised in a small, small city in Poland. And I was raised by my mom and my grandparents. And uh, at that time, I didn't realize this was my first lesson of tolerance. I, I live in the house where everything was open. My uh, grandparents created the atmosphere where uh, we had a, all, the, all the time people in our house. Uh, people that had a different beliefs. Uh, they, uh, they were coming from different cultures. Uh, and uh, I really enjoy, I really absorb. No one told me that this is what I need to understand, what I need to learn, but this was the time where I start slowly realize that this is the environment where the first lesson of tolerance was coming to, to, my, to myself. And uh, this, was, uh, this was until I was 18 years old. I was living in the communist country, regime country. And I live in the, in the house which uh, people had a smile on their face, people really enjoy. Uh, my grandparents, they, had, uh, uh, they lived through two wars. So they, uh, they lived through first war when they were kids, and then uh, second war where they have their own kids. And uh, they have all the reason in the world to uh, have a less tolerance, let's say, to other people because they attacked their countries. They had to move uh, for 25 years from one place to another. In 1945, they moved as far as possible to the west, uh, escaped from, the, from Russia. And... Uh, but I never heard anything from, uh, from them wrong uh, towards other people. They never blame anybody for anything. They never said how their life was difficult. Uh, as I said, they have all the reasons to do so. They even uh, have in their house people from Germany, from Russia, people that were enemy before, and they treat them as a host, and they treat them greatly at their house. So, so this is the environment where I, lear where I lived for the first 18 years, and I, I didn't realize how valuable this will be in the future for me. Then I, won then I went to this external world, and I didn't like it. I didn't like uh, that I didn't have my freedom. I couldn't speak at school what I think. Uh, I was not uh, able to explore myself, learn about myself, as you do in this school, which you should greatly appreciate. So I... I had a two dreams, actually. I had two goals, what I would say today. One was become the famous soccer player of the world. And second, I want to leave this country of regime. I want to leave where most of the people would like to go. I want to leave to America, to the United States. Unfortunately, I didn't become the best uh, soccer player in the world, though I have a lot of connections with the soccer, even until right now, with great players as well. However, uh, I uh, realized my second dream or second goal, I went to U.S. And exactly on my 18th birthday, I was flying to Detroit uh, and I, I went there for four years. And it was not so easy as today, you, you would think. Uh, you just go and buy the tickets and fly in eight hours here in New York or Chicago. At that time, we were on the other side of the curtains. We were in the regime uh, place. And uh, so probably one per... 100,000 people were receiving visa to the United States. I used a little bit of a psychology when I went to the consulate in Poznan uh, to get my visa, and I, I, was suc uh, I succeed. People didn't believe that I got visa. I got a visa, so I was so happy. So I went to the United States, and this was my second uh, lesson in my life where I learned more tolerance. I, I love to uh, be an explorer to freedom. I love to be part of the society. Uh, I made, made a lot of friends. Some of you are from the uh, U.S., so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but I realized after four years that the center of the universe moved fra, probably from U.S. to Central Europe. In the early 90s, the changes start happening here. So I decided that I need to come back. I need to do something here. I need to uh, share my knowledge, experience that I gained there and build this better world here. So I came back. I got lucky. I, on the first months when I came back, I met some crazy Americans that 
at my age that uh, they had a crazy dreams of uh, change the world and make the world better here in Poland and Central Europe. So uh, we start, and we didn't talk about the business, we didn't talk about money at that time, we just were talking about this, you know, how we can make the life better, how we can make the life better of uh, people who live here. And this was music to my ears. I said, great. And uh, I didn't look at my paycheck, how much money I was making, but I knew I was doing something better. So surprisingly, I, was start work I start working in the restaurant industry. We start developing the restaurants. And so I was like thinking, what restaurant has to do with the tolerance, making life better, uh, making this world better? But and as, uh, as I've been saying, for, for 25 years, I've been developing people. I learned very quickly that I can, uh, as soon as I understood myself better, this was breaking point for myself. Uh, uh, hello? I think I lost. No, I'm okay. So the breaking point in my life was when I uh, rose my self awareness to the highest level that uh, uh, I could understand myself better, my impact on other people. Uh, and uh, you know, nowadays it's, uh, it's called emotional intelligence, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with. But at that time, there was no such a vocabulary, there was no such a definition. So, but I knew that something is going right, and I knew that I'm learning myself. I know I'm improving myself. I've been getting a lot of feedback from, from other people. Then uh, we quickly start growing the business throughout the Poland and outside Poland. So I start thinking, uh, is this the really job I want to do? You know, building the restaurant, uh, sell chicken, pizza, or Starbucks, whatever, uh, which we were doing. And, uh, and we came from a very small restaurant. This was, restu this was the business that uh, had a one restaurant when I started in 1993. And we, when we ended up, we had over 2,000 restaurants across the board, uh, across the world, we, you know, pr pretty much on all continents. But, uh, when I understood myself, I learned that the real joy and that what became my mission later on was uh, helping to people to grow and develop people. Something obvious, so many people, so many coaches in today's world, uh, but how do you turn this, how do you turn your life, your job into something that you love? And I, I love to work with people. I really love developing people. And I, I realized that this is not about help growing the people, developing the people, but it's giving them the space to grow and develop. And this is very important. This is uh, very important that I, the con every country where I go, when we develop the business, and I heard a lot of feedback from the people, no, you can't, uh, you can't do this, you can't introduce those values, you can't change this, because this country has a different culture. Thanks God I never listened to those people. I work in Poland, I work in Czech, whole Central Europe, Balkans, China, US, Germany, Austria, you name it. Every country where I go, I learn and I met great people. People that want to be appreciated, people that want to be listened to, people that want to grow, develop, no matter where I went. And there's no barriers. There's, uh, the barriers are it's in our heads only. And, uh, we build a great company. We build a great company for 25 years that I'm really proud of. And, uh, uh, but I was so lucky to, to have this chance to explore, explore myself to different cultures, to different countries. It took me about 30 years to understand and learn 50 plus cultures that I've been involved by traveling, uh, developing people. And you are so lucky here because uh, this school has, uh, what, close to 70 nations? You're already getting this uh, exposure today. Maybe you don't even realize on a day-to-day basis, but for you it's a very natural thing that uh, you are working and you're living, uh, you study within this group of people. And this is what tolerance is about. You don't see people different, uh, different culture, different religion, different uh, sex. There's, uh, the people here are one team. I, uh, I have... Uh, uh, I know what I'm talking about. I have my daughter going to the school. We talk a lot about how the school is different from any other school. You're in a very privileged situation, being, being able to get such exposure, being able to have friends from different parts of the world. So 
bear this in mind for a second. Uh, I, will, I will make a call to actions in the end, but what I'd like to say that I found my own way uh, to bring more tolerance to the world. I had those three lessons. I, I got the first lesson from home, from my uh, gr uh, gr uh, grandchild, uh, grandparents, my mom. I had a great lesson from US when I went to get exposed to the society there. I went and I started working with a great company that spread the great values and uh, had appreciations for people, for people development, for people growth. So this became my obsession, my mission really, to work with people, to create that space for the development of the people. And this is my way of helping changing the world and make it more tolerant. I know it's just a little thing because uh, I can't influence the whole world, but I think everybody, it th it's important for every one of us to find this, find this way, how I'm gonna influence the world, how I'm gonna change the world, how I'm gonna build more tolerance, through what actions, through sport, through music, through your job, you find your own way. So I'd like to make a call to actions. I'd like to hear from you guys because I think when you finish the school, you're getting a lot of great grades, certificates, but also that you are natural ambassador of tolerance. You have very little schools uh, in the world that has so much different society in one place. So you learning this, it's for you it's a very natural thing to, to build and have and feel this more tolerance among yourself. So when you go and leave this school, you need to naturally go and spread this great news, great feelings, among other people. And that's your job. You need to find the, your own way. So are you ready to become the ambassador of tolerance of the world when you leave this school? I didn't hear you. Are you ready to become the ambassador of tolerance when you leave this school? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs>